Hello, I'm Brandon Reyes with Trueball Release and Excel Sites, and today I'm going to talk to you about how to select the proper site tape uh, for your site. Uh, we actually send a, a package of site scales with your Achieve site or your AX Series site. So I'm going to explain to you how to select the right one for your setup. As you can see, the list of or the chart of site tapes is as follows. The narrower the site tape, the faster your bow. The wider the sight tape, of course, the slower the bow, or maybe perhaps the wider the peep height. Uh, the the uh, shorter your peep height goes, uh, you have the tendency to have to use a little bit longer tape. So, uh, what uh, what I would suggest to do, uh, I mean, there's many ways and many theories of what works the best, but uh, you know, my theory that I'm going to explain to you seems to work. I think it's foolproof and I think it's most accurate for most people's settings. So uh, what I've done is I've taken uh, one of the new Achieve sites here and sighted into my bow, and I've used the number system uh, on the side opposite of where we generally put our sight tape, which has nothing on it. You can see I have the, the magnifier already installed, so when I do put my sight tape on there, it's gonna be hopefully in the right position. If not, I can adjust my magnifier to where it is. So what I've done is I've taken this number scale system, and I always, my rule of thumb is sight your bow in at 30 yards and 60 yards. That gives you two distinct distances that can make your sight tape very accurate. If you use 20 yards, that's fine if you want to check it, but 20 yards, it doesn't take much for your, uh, for your tape to be off, and uh, it can be reflected in your sight tape being off as well. In other words, if I sight my bow in for 20 yards and I stand there and, and, and I'm really close, but I'm not completely pinpoint deadly accurate, then that's gonna throw my 30, 40, 50, 60 yard mark off. So I would suggest using a little bit farther distance like the 30 yards and then also the 60 yards and then matching my sight scale to that. So. I've sighted my numbers in, and as you can uh, see on the scale here, my 30 yard mark is at 40 on the number scale. An important thing to remember is that these numbers mean nothing but reference points. So if I have a mark here that says 40 yards or a 40, that doesn't mean that it's at 40 yards. That means that it's at number 40 on your site. So I've sighted in 30 yards, and 30 yards happens to be my number 40 on this scale. And then I've sighted in my 60, which is 59 and a half on the scale. So now I'm going to cut out the proper sight scale on the scales that I received with my sight to find the one that matches the best. Best case scenario is you can bend the paper to where you get the one closest to you uh, or your bow settings, and then cut that one out to make sure it's the right one. And I've done that with three different ones that are pretty distinctly apart so I can show you the difference. So I've uh, sighted in my bow and it's 40 and 59 and a half at 30 yards and 60 yards respectively. So if I go to line my 30 yard markup with number 40, I can see that I'm showing like 70 yards on this sight scale. So this is not the correct sight scale for me. So I'll go to the next one and I'll line my 30 yard up with the 40 mark. And I'm about 65 and a half or 65 yards uh, on the number scale. So this one also isn't the right one for me. I've got another one here. I lined up 30 yards and 59 and a half on the scale equals 60 on my sight tape. So therefore, that's probably the closest one for me. So this is gonna be the one I'm gonna use. So if you have your pointer locked down on your number side, and then you flip it over and you wanna actually put your scale on the side without the numbers to make sure there's no distraction with the engraving, leave your sight set at 60, remove the adhesive backing off of your sight scale, the correct one, And then we will put that on the site. You can slide it right under these magnifiers because there's enough room for them to, uh, to work properly.
it is a little sticky so it's a little more difficult than I anticipated but if you slide it under there and line up your marks my sight scale is attached now where it should be at 60 yards so I can go back up and check my 40 or sorry I'm check my 30 you can check your 40 as well but check your 30 and make sure that it lines up and that the number on the opposite side is 40 which was our reference sight end point. So now my sight should be set to my, uh, my bow, my draw length, everything that you, you would need as far as uh, determining your sight scale. And now you can go back and check your 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 80, and whatever you wanna shoot and ensure that this is the right sight scale. I wouldn't always just assume that it's the right one. I would go and uh, you know, check every number because it's so easy to be off we want to make sure you have the right scale to ensure the best accuracy for you. So I think that's all the information we need in selecting a sight scale. If you have any more questions, you can visit us online or contact the office here at uh, Trueball and Excel and we'll be happy to help you out.